Hi, this is question number three from the AQA Core 2 January 2015 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and try the question. Okay, well done if you've managed to have a go. For the next part of this video, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering this question. Okay, the first term of an infinite geometric series is 48. The common ratio of the series is 0 0.6. For part A, we need to find the third term of the series. So over here, this UN is telling me each term of my sequence or my series. Um, A, we know, is my um, first term, which in this case is 48. I know my common ratio, R, is 0 0.6, so I can plug this in and work out the third term. To find the sum to infinity of the series, I can use this formula here. Again, I already know what A and R are, so I should be able to work that out. For part C, it says the nth term of the series is un, and we need to find the value of the summation of the fourth, so the fourth term to the infinite term. Okay, well, I know my sum to infinity, so that's going to give me my first to my infinite term, so I know um, what that is, the value of that, because I've worked that out in part B. But I don't want my first term, my second term, or my third term. So I need to knock that off the total from part B. So for, for part B, I'm given um, the sum to infinity for every single term. But this is from the fourth term to my infinite term. So I don't want my first three terms. So I need to knock that off. Okay, um, if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can answer the question yourself. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to go over the full answer to this question. So for part A, to find the third term of the series, when I know that un is equal to a r to the n minus 1, so u3, my third term, is going to be equal to a, which is 48, times r, which is 0 0.6, to the power of n minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's going to be 48 times 0 0.6 squared. So my third term is going to be equal to 48 times 0 0.6 squared. And that gives me 17.28. Okay, so that's going to be my third term. Okay, the sum to infinity of the series well, that's going to be, um, I can use this formula here, a over 1 take away r, so my sum to infinity is going to be equal to a, which is 48, divided by 1 take away r, so that's going to be 1 take away 0 0.6. Okay, so using my calculator again, I can do 48 divided by 1 take away 0 0.6, which is 0 0.4. And that gives me 120. So my sum to infinity is equal to 120. Okay, the next part, the nth term of the series is un, and we want to find the value of this here. So this summation is going to be equal to my sum to infinity take away the summation of my first three terms. OK, um, so I'm just going to write that in a different way. The summation of my first three terms is going to be, I want to take off u1, u2, and u3. Okay, so that's going to be equal to, well, that we worked out earlier to be 120, take away, and my first term, u1, we know is 48. My second term is going to be 48 multiplied by 0 
which is 28.8. And then my third term is going to be 28.8 times by 0 0.6, but we've already worked out the third term earlier, it's going to be 17.28. Okay, so that's going to be 120 take away, and we need to sum those together. So 28.8, 48 plus 28.8 plus 17.28, and that gives us 94.08. And then 120 take away 94.08 is going to be equal to 25.92. So the value of this here is going to be 25.92. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.